Okay, Yoshi, let's let's try to not try. Let's just uh, set up set up your pose now. So, uh, okay. the the most important thing for me is your comfort. So you should be absolutely totally relaxed. So try to sit as comfortable as possible. No, I am. Let us go like this. Mm -hmm. Can you look into the camera for a moment? Yes, like that. Can you read chat without changing the head position? Yes. Is it comfortable? Um, Just make I, it. Make, make my it. Head, if, if I turn my head slightly, it's uh, it's more comfortable. Ah, oh, this is good. This this I like. Like this. Yes. Okay. Uh, can I, I can I can I can stay like that. It's no problem. Yeah. Yeah, can can you memorize can you memorize this position by any means? Like may, maybe you you see some yep. dots somewhere, you know, like to align yourself, to align yourself with the yes. pose. So we are going to to sit this way for maybe for maybe just uh, <laughs> my crush is uh, uh, is reviewing is reviewing my outfit for how <laughs> when, long? Uh, like maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I, then, then, then I don't need this. No, 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 just maybe 10, 15 <laughs> minutes we keep, we maintain, we maintain. And after that, we are getting more and more relaxed somehow. But I would like you, I would like you to be relaxed now. It's why we didn't start from the very beginning, you see. So okay. it's like we, we've been, we've been like fitting, fitting in this situation. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I've uh, I've nothing to do, so uh, please feel free. Okay. So I, uh, just in case, I will make a screenshot. Can can you now? Uh, can you now? Yes. Mm, look into the chat, please. Uh, a little tilt to the right, to the left, to the left. Sorry, to your yes. No, no, no. What was was better before? To your right. Yes. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yes, like this. This okay. is amazing. So I'm not okay. Uh, one more time, one more time, and please uh, slightly, slightly relax your mouth right now. It, 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 it. Uh, all, all, all you know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yes, but not. Uh, amazing. Just keep it for a few seconds. I will make a screenshot just in case if we. If internet will be not good for us. Okay, one more. Obviously, we need more. Yes, this is fantastic. Our mm, good one. Yes, quite okay. Okay, so mm, let's begin. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just. Mm. I have I have paints, I have brushes. I will need some medium. So the well the, let's let's begin the conversation. I have so many questions here, so, so many about everything. Like first question mm, how come you have you are on Twitch, right? You're streaming music, hard. You yes. live in, in Ireland, and you, you sound. No, like, no, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm living in Germany. In Germany, okay. I thought in Ireland. Okay, in Germany, also good. In Germany, but you play Irish music, right? Yes, I do. I um, almost every harp player at some point in their career ah, okay. tries, tries to play um, Irish track on the harp because harp is more or less the. The national instrument of Ireland. Yes. yes. I mean, you, 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 have, you have a harp on the uh, on the Guinness pint glass, on uh, on the kegs, on the bottles, on the cans, and and you have Ryanair. Okay. But the name is Japanese. The name is Japanese because my father is from northern Japan. Mm. He's born in he's born in Hakodate, close to Hakodate. Which is located on Hokkaido, the northern island. Yes, okay. And he he moved to Europe. Um, let me think. About 50 years, 50, 60 mm. years ago, to uh, study. He he is a former bassoon player in the orchestra over here. He studied in mm. Tokyo, okay. and then he went to Austria to Salzburg, and uh, 
did a second degree, an additional degree at the conservatory over there, and then he got employed in the orchestra. Wow. And that's basically how, how I came to music. Oh, sounds fantastic. Do, but uh, are you visiting Japan? Yes, many times, but uh, now it's more than 20 years ago. But uh, mm. we, are, we are planning to go to Japan and visit Japan again as soon as possible. Well, we, um, of, 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 course, of course, we have family in Japan, so it um, will be a f fantastic journey. Arakia, no, unfortunately not, because I'm, I'm born in the, in the, in the 70s, and uh, during that time, it was a quite, quite a short time frame, but during that time, uh, people said, if you have um, international parents, if they do not speak both languages fluently, the children will learn just half of each language, which is nonsense. We know that by now. Yes. But uh, back in the days, uh, people were telling uh, my parents, you should, uh, you should raise your, ch your child just speaking German. Mm, that's... But I, I, already, I already experienced, it's, uh, it's pretty easy for me to learn Japanese, and I already started um, learning Japanese a few months ago, and it's very easy because I grew up with, uh, with a language uh, in, in, in my ear, because we had many visitors from Japan, and my father, of course, did many phone calls with Japan. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's very easy to uh, to kind of uh, fake those sounds of the language. It's uh, one one funny story. I got to know a Japanese viola player during my study in Salzburg, and uh, we talked about Japanese food. And there is a speciality. It's a grilled eel, and mm -hmm. it's called kabayaki, or it is called unagi. Yeah, so no, and yeah. in Hokkaido. They pronounce it unagi, and in Tokyo they say unagi, and I was like unagi, and he told me, "Where did you learn Japanese? Where, where does, does that weird accent come from? Where's your father from?" And I told him, "Oh, he was born close to Hakodate," and, and then he was, "Oh, yeah, I see, North people." <laughs> <laughs> so you're a northerner. Wow, it's amazing. And my father is not the only mus uh, musician in our family. My mother plays cello. So um, finding my, uh, my way into music was, um, yeah, was fairly easy. What was, what was your first musical impression, if you can remember it? My first music impression? Um, that's basically the story about my birth. Mm. The, doctor, uh, the doctor of my mother, he was a big classical music fan and he told my mother, your son will be a Mozart. So um, he dated my birth to be on January 27th, okay. on Mozart's birthday. Mm. And on January 22nd, <laughs> my mother went to a concert here in Mönchengladbach. My father played and they played Beethoven Violin Concerto and a fantastic violin player, Henrik Schering, he played the concert. And uh, my father told my mother, you, you must not miss this opportunity to listen to that music of that guy because he's a world-class violin player, you should not miss that. So he made several arrangements with the employees of the theater so my mother was sitting in the last row. Everyone was informed she was about to give birth to me. <laughs> and if anything happened, they had a taxi ready. Everyone knew what to do. Uh, fortunately, nothing happened during the concert. So she could listen to the whole concert. They drove back home. And then birth started. And uh, they, they drove my mother to, to the hospital. And the next morning, I was born. So. Um, the short version is, I should have been a Mozart, but Beethoven was faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. So that's uh, the earliest impression of music I can tell. I can't remember, of course, but 
but the first musical impression I know is uh, Stravinsky, Sacre du Pontin, mm. because it's um, it's Quite it's unusual. a nightmare for the bassoon player, the first solo. Sacre du Pontin starts with a bassoon solo, and it's very high to play. It's very hard to play because it's it's uh, freakingly high in the instrument. You need lots of power. You need uh, a fantastic tone control, and therefore it's uh, one of the most requested pieces in orchestral auditions. And of course, my father practiced this piece over and over. So I grew up with that, um, with that piece in my ear. And that actually was the first piece I played on the piano. My, my, um, my parents, they explained to me what keys to press to, um, to have the first part of the bassoon solo of Sacre. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. So chat, chat was asking some questions. In internet, uh, yes, I'm painting on copper. And as you can see, it is, it is very different from normal, my normal approach. So it is more like sculpting the face. So don't worry about uh, the likeness now. What I need to do is to throw as many pigment as possible. So the reflection and the bare copper will go on from this part. And I, and I will model, in, model on top of that. But what is your... Okay, uh, I've heard you played Baroque, you've played Classic. What about the Romantic period? Do you play? I love, I love playing Romantic music. Mm -hmm. That's actually the era where, um, where the harp got big. And the reason behind that is the modern double action pedal harp is, is an invention from the 19th century. It was um, invented by the Irar brothers. They also uh, already built grand pianos. They, uh, they invented a lot for the grand piano as well, for the mechanic. And they uh, invented the single action pedal harp and after that, a few, few uh, decades later, they um, they improved the mechanism to have a double action pedal harp. And um, that era was uh, when harp virtuosos became more popular. They started composing and we have lots of pieces from the 19th century which are a uh, fantastic romantic uh, repertoire. Mm. Uh, Doug, what is advantage of on painting on copper, uh, the the surface is quite shiny by itself, so it will it will create additional luminosity to the piece. And the point is, the the, the layers the paint will never sink in, so it will create a very nice adhesion with the surface. And it is very archival, very traditional, and so on. Okay, what, what do we have now? Any more questions, guys? For Yoshi, maybe? Oh, I see. Um, Queen in the North. Of course I know Smetana. Two famous cadenzas mm. are uh, written by Smetana. One is uh, from um, Mavlast, Vltava, and the second one is uh, from Bisharad. Fantastic pieces. Yes, I agree. I heard them on stage last year in, in Amsterdam. It was a fantastic experience. And which orchestra? Concert Gival? Yes, uh, Pet Petra van der Heide. Mm -hmm. she's, she's a lovely person and she, she plays beautifully. She has a big and strong voluminous tone. That's uh, one of the key points of the, of the Dutch harp school. They, they are uh, famous for having a big and uh, voluminous tone. Uh, astronaut, we actually met on Sunny's stream, Sunny Halla. Yes, yes, because of Sunny. Uh, she went on raid and I was blown away immediately. And my wife, she loves uh, Yoshi's stream a lot. 
So we, 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 really, we really enjoy harp music. Okay, question. Would the paint have a problem delaminating itself? Not, not really, because copper and oil painting, especially if you use lead white, uh, it, will, it will react with the copper. So the paint will go inside. It will start to, to melt into the copper. It will be very, very rigid. So if, um, yes, yes, yes. Arthur, sh shall, I, shall I take off the glasses for a minute when, when you do the eyes? Uh, you, you can, but uh, it's okay, it's okay for now. I'm, I'm just building okay. the, the... It's not e even about the likeness now, it is about the construction of the, of the, okay. of the head. With the canvas I, I approach differently. With the canvas I build it with the shadows and I, I try to build the likeness right away. Okay, so... What was most unusual harp experience for you? What was most, you know, like crazy, crazy music you played or heard playing on harp? Like something unexpected. Crazy music. Not crazy, I oh, mean... The, like, um, yeah. the, the craziest thing I stumbled across is Deborah Hansen Conant. She's a harp player from, from the US and she plays electric harp and she plays actually hard rock and metal. She mm. toured with, uh, with Steve Vai. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. She does incredible stuff with the instrument. And she, she also does uh, blues singing and blues improvisation on the harp. It's, uh, she's a really funny person and absolutely lovely. <laughs> How Yoshi can stay without moving. Yoshi's doing absolutely nice. Amazing, amazing job. Soon we will get you more relaxed, I promise you. Uh, actually, I am relaxed. It's, uh, it's quite relaxed posture. Oops. Wow, Walter, thank you so much for gifting two subs. Amazing. Hard rock harp. Is, uh, um, Arakia, I, I saw your question up there. I actually do play from time to time a sight reading, some Metallica. Nothing else matters, works perfectly on the, on the big harp, for wow. example. I also play pieces from a Skyrim, a Skyrim soundtrack. And a big surprise for me was uh, two fantastic uh, songs by Pink Floyd actually are playable on the harp. One is Comfortably Numb and the other one is Wish You Were Here. They work uh, really nicely, but, but I, I, I have to practice them. Oh, Dungeon Maker. Yes, there are. There are fields of study, ideas, and experience besides musical study that inform the way I play. The biggest influence is um, taking lessons by um, a, a former Shaolin monk. I, I did uh, training in Shaolin Kung Fu, Tai Chi, Qigong, and meditation. And that's a, a big influence to my, my way and my approach to playing a music instrument. Because it's all about um, handling and um, directing, focusing, and working with, uh, with energy flow. So it's basically the same. It's just a different tool. This is an amazing. So have you been in actual Shaolin? No, I've, I've not been to China yet. Um, my teacher, Xi Xingui, he, uh, he moved to Austria after doing the tours back in the, I think it was mid, mid 90s, early 90s. He was uh, on, on the first shows 
that, uh, that did uh, the world tours. And he, um, he had to decide whether to move to England or to Austria. And he liked the, the countryside in Austria more, the mountains. And so he uh, went to Austria and started teaching there. Casino Cop. Actually, um, the harp itself is a big, a big reverb chamber. And that's not only because uh, of the sound body of, of the uh, sound corpse. It's more like um, it's more caused by the resonance because you have no muting uh, mechanism like on the piano. Once you pluck a string, it just rings until you mute you mute it with your hands. And that means you um, always have resonating strings going on on the harp. And that creates um, the illusion of a, of a gigantic uh, reverb. Sasha. Um, I'm not, uh, I didn't grow up with any um, practical religious um, habits. Uh, but I, of course, I visited the Shinto shrines in, in Japan, which are wonderful. And I just started learning a little bit more about the uh, Shinto culture. The only thing I, um, in, I, got to know a bit further is um, is uh, all the the things about Zen Buddhism of course because of my practice the only thing I know about Shinto is it's, uh, it's a very comfortable thing because you can buy prayers for almost anything you need a new car you buy a proper pr uh, prayer uh, at the temple and you have it read by a monk <laughs> Dark, yes, I have played with electric harps, basically. Uh, in fact, my big harp, the, the big black one, it has built-in pickups. And the small one, the, the little green, I, um, I added a piezo pickup to the, to the soundboard and also a small microphone on top of the soundboard. So it's, um, it's a work in progress. I do it from time to time, experimenting a little bit with the effects and amplification, but uh, not stage ready. Tell, tell us about your streaming experience and how, how you ended up on Twitch. So unusual, to be honest. My streaming experience, it actually uh, is, um, it was caused by the lockdown. Yeah. Because last year, mm -hmm. on uh, beginning of April, I, um, I scheduled a solo recital here at uh, Kunstsignal. And about one and a half months before lockdown happened, the first one, uh, everything was closed, so uh, it was was not possible to do a live concert with a physical audience. So um, I thought about... I, I didn't want to cancel that concert. Uh, rescheduling was okay for me, but I already expected uh, this could take longer. Mm. And then I thought... I worked in IT for more than 20 years. And then I start thinking, what if I could combine the two, um, the two jobs and get my own streaming equipment ready and do a live stream concert? And at first I had a look at YouTube. And then a, um, a colleague asked, why, do, why don't you have a look at Twitch? Because it's, um, it's maybe a smaller community, but people are really nice. You should try it. And he told me about uh, rate things and uh, subscriptions and uh, all the emotes and stuff, <laughs> all the fun stuff. <laughs> then, then, then I, then, then I, I just changed my um, my plan and did my first stream, my first production stream, doing a full, um, yeah, a short solo recital on Twitch. That was uh, the beginning of April, and it was big fun. I got fantastic feedback, and so I, I started streaming more. At first, it was really weird, because I um, I played so many solo recitals, 
and you get used to the energy you have coming from the audience when playing on stage. Um, it's, uh, I, I talked about that before, it's, it's a thing about handling energies and working with energies. If you have an audience in front of you, they come to your concert, they pay money for, uh, for the tickets, and they sit down and they expect to spend a wonderful time listening to your music. That's, uh, that's an incredible amount of positive energy. And you are allowed to play with that energy. You shouldn't keep it for yourself. You should uh, let it flow and um, give a bit of the color of your music to that energy and give it back to the people. And that continues over and over and it gets more. It gets uh, more and more. And this experience at first I didn't get that from streaming, of course, because there, nobody was there. It was just a camera. But I got fantastic feedback uh, in the chat, and I got used to it. And now I develop kind of, um, of a new, let's say, sensitivity. I get a lot of energy from streaming when uh, reading the chat, when interacting with people, because um, it's live. So I know someone is sitting somewhere in the world and uh, listening to the music, watching my stream and giving feedback. So it is like having people with me in the concert hall and that's lovely. But you, you definitely have to get used to it. Wow. So w when did you start streaming? Um, beginning of April last year. Mm, okay. So um, almost yeah, one year well, now. Yes. So at least for this, we should thank our 2020 for having you on Twitch. Well, 2020, at least for myself, was a fantastic year. Uh, sounds uh, a little awkward because, um, yeah, 2020 for many companies was uh, one of the worst years in history. But for me, um, the, the mm. company I was working for it went into uh, insolvencia, and I quit working there, and I got um, unemployment um, salary. We have that in Germany, it's kind of an insurance. And I decided, well, why not take that money and take a time out and concentrate on playing harp and practicing harp again. And um, the timing was just perfect because I also was preparing for the audition in Amsterdam. So it was uh, just best timing in the world. Um, and Amsterdam didn't work, but I already decided um, no matter what happens, I will continue playing harp. And the plan was, uh, let's see what happens if I get uh, concerts and uh, students, if I can teach enough, do workshops, uh, do uh, tour, tours maybe. Let's see what happens financially. Maybe I can build something reliable on top of that and uh, get kind of a, a regular income. Well, it uh, didn't happen, but um, I always had some kind of plan B. I worked for more than 20 years in IT support, and last December I got a new employment as IT supporter. And luckily, it's a job where I can still spend enough time at the half, practicing, streaming, to maintain a level of uh, technical ability I'm uh, absolutely happy with and still have time and energy enough to uh, start studying new pieces as well. So 2020 was an amazing year for me. Well, it's so good to hear, guys, you see. Stop complaining. Enjoy. Take the challenge. Oh, Dungeon Maker. Dungeon Maker, yes, exactly. exactly. That's so nice. And I, I love that possibility, uh, that, that level of interaction. Thank you, Lina. I just started. Yeah, it's it's. I, I know uh, people who watch me. They know that I work absolutely differently normally. I do. I don't do such. Such style of portraiture. So it's th this one is more like sculpting than. Than drawing. Yeah, racing, likewise, likewise. 
<laughs> how, how, how do you feel? Are you relaxed, Yoshi? Are we good? Pardon? Uh, yeah, I, are you relaxed? Feel, feeling great, feeling great. Uh, yes, I am relaxed. Right, because uh, more we continue, more I will con be concerned about the likeness. So I want you to be as relaxed as possible. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's absolutely fine. What I really like in your stream, uh, aside of music and your personality, is how you, the light you have. It is very stage looking light. Because it is a stage. Yeah, it, it is. I, 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 yeah. I, I can tell <laughs> because you have so many you know, like, uh, spotlights and so on. Nor normally, streamers, they have very flat, you know, very mm, uh, amb ambient looking light, diffused, for obvious reasons. So I was impressed to see your stream from the very beginning. I tried many things. In the beginning, I um, I actually bought two uh, spotlights. You you usually use at building sites to have a really bright light. So so I so I could uh, step back on the on the aperture of the camera. But uh, then more and more, I found to uh, a darker setting because I love um, stepping, uh, stepping faster with the camera, open uh, aperture wide open, as wide as possible, mm -hmm. because, because you get different color approach, and I love that color. And I also reconfigured uh, the whole lighting in the concert hall over here, because at the moment we don't have concerts, so I was free to do whatever I want. Then I changed the lighting from the um, bright white spotlights to the warm yellowish light uh, spotlights. So I have four, usually I have four spotlights pointing from four directions to the harp. Um, at the moment I, uh, I turn away one spotlight because it creates um, better shadow. But usually I have uh, four spotlights. Uh, yeah, Arthur, I, I can't yes. tell what, what's, what's the difference with the big harp. The spotlight I had to turn away yesterday. Mm -hmm. Usually that one is blocked by the big harp. Ah, okay, so you don't have it. You don't yeah. have it on your face. I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't have it on my face. It just creates a, a very nice light on the on the right side of mm -hmm. the strings. Yeah. That's 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 a very nice effect because the strings actually start glowing. They 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 glow even now. I really like. I really like. It, it looks yeah, they do. so inspiring. Astronaut, I'm. Uh, it, it's it's fascinating, and I love that process. For me, guys, it's a challenge. You can imagine. I seldom do such such approach. You mean but wearing a suit while painting? <laughs> Yeah, you, 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 see, you see, Mr. Els, uh, I, I thought it's impossible for me to, to wear just T-shirt as I normally do. It's like mm, ruining the thing, because I think, I think it's very, very rare when you have two guys wearing suits chatting on Twitch. It's, it's fantastic, I, I love that. April, uh, I'm painting on copper, on proper piece of copper, which I bought recently. So the main difference is, if, if I got that correctly, when painting on copper, you put lots of pigment on the material. A lot of lights, yes. So okay. I, I don't have light of the canvas to support, to support the light. So I have oh, to... Oh, I see. I have to cover it as soon as possible, so I don't have any kind of glare. And and now, I, since it is a metal, so nothing is uh, nothing is sinking in. So it will sink in in decades, but not now. So I can push the paint around as long as possible. And definitely, the portrait will be done in two se two sessions. But today we will just build the form. And later, using the, the video of our stream, I will 
paint the, the rest of the features, you know, the costume, the harp, and all, this, all these things in between. I, fo I, found, I found to work this way quite, uh, quite, uh, quite okay, because since we are not doing it from live, so I don't have a lot of color information and other things, I can focus only on the form and on the likeness and do the rest from my imagination and from video later without bothering Sitter. Like we did like we did with, with Sunny. Mr. Els, Mr. Els, actually, my sound is uh, more or less coming from the 60s and 70s. I use vintage microphones. The question, uh, Doug, you can paint just directly on copper, but if you want the first layer like this one to adhere faster and to sit, to sit uh, better, the most traditional way is just to rub the garlic to, to, into the metal, uh, and what I do, I, I just I just cover it with a shellac. Okay, the values. So you're actually uh, you're actually painting on uh, on a shellac uh, polish. Yes, just it's not a polish; it's just a, a very thin, very thin wash of shellac. Ah, okay. I just I just wrapped it wrapped it with a with a cloth in the beginning of stream. So it, I think it is already evaporated. Uh, Bellana, at the moment I, I wear brown um, Budapest style shoes, so they match. <laughs> Good question, I should. <laughs> Uh, resin kit, yes, the vintage mics are warmer. Um, I used KM84 by Neumann, and uh, they are more flat, like the like its successor, the KM184, which has a peak at about 10 kilohertz to make it sound more brilliant, nor more crispy. And I don't like that. I like the vintage, uh, the vintage vibe of having uh, a very warm heights. And uh, basically, that's uh, the sound of the British studios of the 70s. And I even, uh, um, just one week ago, I exchanged the KM84 by to KM86. Um, KM86 is famous for being the Motown microphone. The Motown studios from the um, 60s on, I think, mid to late 60s, they almost only used KM86. No way, Crush, I'm wearing plush slippers. Nobody's going to see me, my, my feet. No, I'm joking. I, I, I'm wearing sne sneakers. Not the, proper, not, not the proper ones, but most comfortable ones. You see, I, 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 I've cheated a little bit. I have a t-shirt style, like cocktail style. Boxer shorts. It's absolutely legit, I believe, at summertime. If you stream like upper torso, why not? Just be careful if you need to, to get out and so on. I have, let me count, one, two, three, I have four G-strings. And why crush my G string stay in tune? Interesting. <laughs> uh, honestly, a G string on a um, on a three by three head on every guitar is just a nightmare. It just get, uh, it gets out of tune and it it's, uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't stay in tune.
Oh, Jessica, feel free to visit me and do that on my stream. Tell, tell us about your suit. Wake Crush, yes, or using a string butler. Because uh, locking nuts on a, on a proper uh, reissue Les Paul would be, uh, yeah, it would be blasphemy. <laughs> yes, it, the, the copper, copper now looks a little bit vintage, yes, I know it. But why not? Why not? We'll see, maybe I can, let, let me. Maybe this will be better. Oh, uh, you ask about my suit? Yeah, yeah. It looks fantastic. Something Thanks special? Something special? Tell us, because um, we're at which people, you see, flip-flops and, and t-shirts. <laughs> I got it from um, from a store here in Mönchengladbach. Um, it is um, a new company. It's called Dufour, and uh, the name is after Monsieur Dufour, who was uh, the collection head of uh, of Van Laak shirts. And he uh, built his own company because he wanted to do more uh, more modern stuff, because Van Laak all, also uh, always does very conservative classic uh, shirt design and cloth design, and he wanted to go uh, the more modern uh, way. And then he uh, started doing more than shirts and formed partnerships with uh, several tailors, and one of them uh, does these suits. And I always dreamt of uh, having a, a proper great suit, so uh, a few months ago, time was ready. Place your bet. Yes, it is possible to play to play the harp with one hand. I had to do that for uh, for months because I hurt my right uh, my right finger uh, finger on my right hand, and I uh, started practicing using just my left hand. And as soon as possible, I started using my right hand again, without the finger that was uh, that was hurt. Such a question about one hand. Yeah, Mr. L is asking a question about what exactly you do on your streams. I play harp. <laughs> good, good answer. Good answer. He plays harp, yes. <laughs> yeah, I mostly play harp. But not, not um, just playing harp. Also no, educating I, I, us. I, Telling On us. a regular basis, I enter chat, uh, chatterbox mode and uh, forget the time, just telling stories and yes. uh, explaining things uh, nobody would ever think of connected to the harp. How did you hurt your finger? Spill the beans. Tell us. Um, not, with, not with any G-string on the harp. It was, uh, it was an accident. Yeah, so basically, I, I, I dislocated one, uh, one uh, finger joint. <laughs> can't close the color of, of my dress. <laughs> yeah, I can. Uh, I must admit, I must admit, the problem is uh, quite common. Yes, Yoshi is teaching a lot about the harp and about the pieces, about composer, composers, because for me, I was absolutely surprised that you are playing 
composers I never heard about. And I'm a, I have a big collection of classical music and I, I've heard many composers. But in, especially in classical period, there are so many forgotten names. And to discover one or two in your streams was for me like very, very impressive. Well, uh, one reason behind that is uh, harp never got as popular as violin or piano, so there is less repertoire for this instrument. That's one point. Mm, the second point yes. is many composers writing pieces for this instrument, they were harp players themselves. And they concentrate, of course, they concentrated on their instrument. Arakia, as soon as I'm allowed to breathe again and to move again, I certainly will play. You can, you can. If you like, if you like, uh, you can play now. Yeah, of course. And I will just uh, model, model them. Oh, wait a second, I will, I will turn on the background.
amazing. Just amazing. Thank you so much. This, this is proper, guys. This is. Okay. Club, yes. We are, we are, mm, it's so funny. For today, we are music stream. Okay, replicant, hello. And yes, uh, let, let me return the music for now. Do whatever. Yes, we have something. So, but can you, can you... There was a tilt. There was a tilt on, in opposite direction to your right. Yes, like that. Not, not as strong, just slightly back. Yes. And a little bit turn okay. the, and can you turn the head to the left? Not the tilt, but turning the rotating. Yes, yes, like this. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. So now we can continue. Uh, lively linear. That actually was a set of three Irish tunes. <laughs> all three, all three were uh, slip jigs. And none of them was in G major or G minor. The first one was the butterfly jig, the second one was so Snowy Path, and the third one was a fig for a kiss. A fig for a kiss. A fig for a kiss. I like it. Uh, way crash, uh, way crash. You would ha you would have to ask my fiance, because uh, I think <laughs> she would be the one selling me. Yes, I will. I will leave part of the copper. Yes, shining through. This is this is an idea. This is an idea. We we will see if if I like if I like the experience and outcome. Maybe I will do all special streams on copper or on similar exotic surface. Uh, the, the head looks slightly elongated for you guys because we have distortion of the camera. But you can see we are building slowly, we are building the form, the general form of the head. You're painting on metal, that causes distortion. What? You're painting on metal, that's where the distortion comes from. Because because you don't play metal you don't play metal with a clean tone. Uh, no, uh, um, it comes it comes just from camera distortion. No, it was uh, it, uh, I, I was joking around. Ah, okay. There was there was some voices in my head, and I, and I just found them, eliminated them. Okay, so we continue. How do you feel, Yoshi? I'm feel comf I feel fantastic. I I like the process. I really like it. Yeah. And uh, painting in copper, I never uh, I I saw some uh, some paintings on copper, of course but I never uh, thought about how it's done and what, uh, what actually the difference would be. Yeah, guys, I understood it was a joke. I was just, um, the voices were very surprising in my head. My head. I thought maybe we have someone else on, on stage. Can you imagine that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, businesses mostly made from maple, but the soundboard usually, usually is made from um, spruce. Astronaut. Um, I tried playing a bit of harpsichord, 
because uh, back in school I made a practica at um, at a piano selling uh, at, at a music store and also an organ builder and they had a piano workshop and they also sold and repaired harpsichords so I got to play some of them and I practiced tuning on harpsichords. Oh, Mr. Els, the question was about the patina on the copper. Mm, there are, okay, uh, the old school and, you know, very, very traditional thing is to varnish everything, to, to protect it. But many contemporary painters who paint on copper, they prefer to leave copper exposed, so it creates very, very nice additional texture in a few years. So better, better to paint and to look like, to wait for 10, 10 years or something to find out, do you like it or not? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, painting, painting is very, is very low process. It's like slow or no low, slow process. Oh, I like that. Slow process is, is fine. Yes. That's a kind of um, a healthy speed of development. Yes, indeed, indeed. And uh, both of us, I think we do... So some people, they can think that we are doing something absolutely outdated, which is totally uh, not true, but uh, there is a point in it. Like oil painting, classical music. But I like it. I like both of these things. I, al I always take it as a compliment. <laughs> Me too. It's like to be OG. But is, isn't it hard sometimes? Do you ask yourself the question like, uh, you know, mm, do, you, do you have doubts about your, your way, about your, your path which you chose? Sorry if, 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 if the question is too, mm, I don't know, I hope. Not, an, not anymore. Not the anymore. question is perfectly Good fine. Answer. Question, question is perfectly fine and it's uh, one of the most important questions, I guess, because I, uh, of course, I think every artist at some points or several points in their career, they doubt heavily. They, do they doubt really badly if, if it is all right what they are doing. Mm -hmm. I, I doubt it if it's, uh, if it's clever to, uh, to go all in with music because uh, everyone told me, well, it's so hard to, to get money from, uh, from playing music. Yes. And later I decided, of course, having that plan B with IT support, that helped a lot. Then I decided, okay, I don't do it for money, I do it for personal development. And from then on, there was no question. There was no insecure things. There were no doubts anymore. Because whatever I do with my music and my instrument, I do it for myself at first. And that's what I want to show to people when they come to my concerts. I, uh, I, in this situation, I'm able to show them I'm perfectly fine with everything what I'm doing with my music and my instrument. And in my opinion, that creates a certain atmosphere, a certain, um, a certain, a certain vibe. And if you see someone on stage being completely fine and comfortable and relaxed in what they are doing, you usually enjoy what they are doing. And that is uh, a big bonus of having that plan B and not having to rely, oh, I have to play something people like now on stage. That already can destroy the atmosphere you, uh, you need on stage to, uh, to touch people's heart with the music you're, you're playing. Such a good conversation, guys. I like it. Yeah. By the way, how how come you know Sunny? How did you meet? 
I stumbled across her stream uh, mm -hmm. months ago, and I was like, oh, wow, that's fantastic. She, she, she played Kandele and mm -hmm. uh, sang traditional Finnish songs, and I love Scandinavian music. And I, I, was, uh, I was blown away. I was uh, addicted to that music from the first second I listened to her. Then I uh, visited her stream and said, wow, it's so wonderful what you're doing. And then uh, I had to wait several weeks until we were streaming at the same time. I was so happy to do a raid for mm -hmm. her stream because uh, it's just wonderful what she's doing. Yes. And sh such, such a lovely person. Yes. Mr. Eltz, um, sometimes uh, we both jokingly say, I'm just her human jukebox. <laughs> Well, it's it's a it's a very special connection because we uh, we grew up together, we know each other since we were um, six years old. Wow, this is very unusual, very rare. So the good thing with that um, relationship, with that connection, is uh, there is nothing to hide. You, you cannot hide anything. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's, that's, that's a big relief because it's so often when we are in a relationship, whether it is our love partner or if, if it is a friend or someone we got to know, it's so easy to try to hide something or try to, um, to uh, pretend to be something just to be attractive to someone. And uh, that, that's a big bonus because we grew up together. Uh, we know exactly once we, tr once we try to impress somebody, the other one is looking at you and uh, asking, are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes sense because harp is also not easy to hide. So you don't have to hide your instrument and also yourself. Oh, uh, good point. I actually tried to hide the harp for <laughs> really? several years. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I did. Because, because I felt uh, miserable, because I felt I was reduced to only oh, the harp player. Mm -hmm. And I got the feeling uh, people just got interested in uh, me playing the harp, and they uh, were not at all interested in who I am as a human being. Mm. So I... Um, I refused telling people what I actually do. I, uh, I talked to them about computers, about technical stuff, and uh, what music I like, mostly Iron Maiden or Dream Theater, no classic music mentioned. And uh, later, I, I, my, my point of view changed, together with uh, being more self-confident when it comes to uh, personal development in music, because then I found out what I do music I play is uh, one of the most personal things I can do. So it's always myself playing. Yes, this is very true. I think the same with very arts. With all, with all arts, yes, with every. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to, to be annoyed by the feeling you got reduced to your, uh, to your profession and also very easy to try to hide behind your profession. Mm -hmm. Harp is equivalent to the Witcher's unicorn. <laughs> I, are you okay? Comfortable? Let me know. I'm comfortable. Let, thank let you. Let me know if you need break or something, or if you want to drink no. to drink your, your beautiful looking uh, 
spirit of the Sunny does a wonderful version of uh, the Priscilla song, by the way. Yeah, the yes, it was my request. It was my request and she played with your music on top. Oh, so, she did. Yes. She, you, should, you, should, you should ask her to do uh, the version with Candele. It's lovely. Mm, maybe, maybe. And if I ever get a request from you, I would like to listen to Skyrim music. Oh, I happily play it for you. Thank you so much. That um, that was uh, actually one of, one of the big discoveries. I uh, I was surprised and I'm amazed that actually so many pieces from the Skyrim soundtrack are playable on the harp. I enjoy mm -hmm. playing th that music so much. Oh, Bellano, yes, I, I got that mark from uh, from I think it was Stream Elements. Mr. Els, uh, the little green one over here, the, the, the small harp I, I just played, um, that actually is, um, it's movable. So I have a bag where I can put it in, it has uh, back straps, and that harp actually I carry to, to the Irish pub from time to time. Thank you, Mr. Gary. Waycrush game soundtracks, uh, there are so many fantastic compositions in gaming soundtracks and on uh, movie soundtracks as well. And in my opinion, that's more like uh, the first functionality, if you will, uh, by music. Music at first was uh, meant to support rituals or uh, certain things happening. It was not... Um, music for itself being, being, being celebrated or performed just as music. It always was uh, a supporting thing for uh, yeah, mostly rituals and when watching a movie or playing a game music is just there to, uh, to intensify or to, um, to, um, to increase the atmosphere. And that maybe is more like um, the first approach, how music is meant to be used. Nevertheless, I really enjoy listening to Mahler symphonies or Tchaikovsky or Beethoven. Mm. To touch people's emotions. Oh yes, place your bet. That's perfectly correct. Because um, music for me is the, is the language of emotions. And the, one of the nicest things in music for me personally is you cannot lie when playing music. Because you don't use words. You use a different language where uh, you struggle to find words to describe anything. I was listening to Beethoven's concerto today before stream, number five, Emperor. Oh, yeah. fantastic. E flat minor. Yeah. That's a fantastic yes, yes, concerto. Yes, yes. I love it. Yoshi, if you are alone on inhabited island, like marooned, and you are allowed to take just one recording. What will you take? One recording? Yes. Or, okay, one CD, one compact disc, if, if I can say like that. That would be a recording from the 80s from the Netherlands Winds Ensemble they did in Japan. 
Um, it is um, a wind ensemble by eight people. On that concert, on that concert tour, they were nine people, nine musicians. And um, most of the players were uh, principal wind uh, musicians from the Concertgebouw Orchestra Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that recording for me is legendary. It has everything I, I praise in music. They do not overdo anything. They do not exaggerate anything. Mm -hmm. They just keep the music flowing steadily and in a refreshing way, unexcited. So, I, 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 I highly dislike that overexcitement in playing music because uh, at that time you try to stand in front of the music and that's not the approach I'm following. I want to uh, bring music to the people, not myself pulling some kind of music behind me. And they, they brought that approach to, uh, to uh, mastery, in my opinion. So that would be the, the recording I would take to the, to the abandoned island. Wow, good, fantastic, it sounds very unusual. There are, there are jokes in chat about age and compact disc. Do you know, guys, the length of compact disc, the, the time which you can record on compact disc, why this time? Do you know? Does anyone have, uh, without googling it, can you, can you tell me the story? I about, do. <laughs> I, I have no doubts about it. <laughs> yeah, 74 minutes. Very precise, very precise uh, timing on the compact disc. Oh, you, you, you j just looked like you tried to feed me. That was funny. Because you, you, you raised the can exactly to my mouth. Ah, wow. Yeah, yeah, please do. That, that, was, that was really, that, that was <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just keep, keep you hydrated, you see, with, with, a good, with a good black tea. So, the, the length of compact G's was designed in the way that it will fit exactly the Ninth Symphony by Beethoven. Because back in the day, it was the most popular music in Japan in uh, late 80s or something. It was, it was Christmas music, by the way. You can, you can hear it, you can hear it every, everywhere on Christmas, especially Ode to Joy. So, the, so they, did, they did the length of compact disc to fit the Ninth Symphony. Which makes a lot I think, of sense. I think it was. I, th I think it was a recording done by uh, Herbert von Karajan. Yes. It is yes, ex uh, yes, exactly yes. 74 minutes. Yes. 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 From the first, from the first recording with with Decker, or maybe it was not Decker. It was. Maybe it was Deutsche Grammophon, because Karajan did three recordings, in 70s and. Yeah, 80s. he did. He he did several recordings. Yeah. But honestly, I, I, must, I must say my favorite recording is by uh, Royal Concertgebouw Amsterdam Orchestra conducted by Bernard Heiting. Mm, it's a recording yes, from, the, from, from, yes. the, from, the, from the late yes, 60s. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, my favorite is Scholte. And always was. Because Scholte, mm. Scholte knows the bass. So yes, he does. The Brahms sometimes and some, sometimes uh, his tempo choices are, are really radical. Yes, 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 they are. Jessica, no, I, I, I want to, to keep just chatting because we have art and music, so we cannot, uh, if I put art, it will be disrespect to music and vice versa, so we just, we just do just chatting, I hope everyone is, uh, everyone agrees. Are you okay with, with that, Yoshi? I'm perfectly fine with that. Mm, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, I, be, I believe. Just want, want, to, want to keep the balance because we hear the music and we talk music. Yeah, music is art, but we have different categories. Yeah, it's uh, like, like a different language or using a different tool. But in the end, it's, uh, it's, it's a very old and very strong connection between performing and uh, creating arts. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you see, and for me, the, the painting which I do, uh, it is also kind of a performing because it is happening in real time. That's why I like this. Yes, of course, so of course it much. is. Okay, uh, we can continue. Thank you, Nami. Thank you. 
Okay, cheers, guys. If uh, okay, the hair now. So the blocking is coming along quite quite slowly, but still, I I, I like it. At this stage, the point is to build the form. I missed the beginning. How did they miss? West Frost, I was I was promoting it last time. Uh, um, I think I think I I should have a look at the camera battery. I'm pretty yeah, yeah, sure please, it will please, it, please. It, it it will die within the next ten okay. minutes. Just let okay. me just let me let me exchange the battery. Yeah, yeah. Uh, feel we'll, free. Feel we'll, free. We'll, we'll we'll be back in a few seconds. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely nice. Do you remember, guys, the anime called Tokyo Godfathers? You can, uh, it is happening on New Year's Eve, and you can hear, you can hear the Ninth Symphony of, uh, by Beethoven in radio, in store music, and also even, even like car music. Yes, the chair, the chair is posh. Oh, it's so posh. And the light, you see the light. Ah, no, you don't, but I see. Even, even the wire is posh. So very funny, somehow all people I've painted so far on stream connected. Like Becca was connected with both with Pinky and with Sunny. Sunny. Oh, Miri, hi. Oh, Miri, hey. Thanks a lot for the gifted sub. Yeah, thank you so uh, good, much. Good, good morning. So happy to see you. Yeah, I've been I've been on her stream. Uh, we've been raising her. Yes, thank you for the sub. It was amazing. Oh yes, Marzaban. Yes, indeed. Uh, Kubrick, Kubrick himself used used classical music in pretty good way, like in in Space Odyssey. For example. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, Zarathustra. Yeah, Zarathustra by Schumann. Not Schumann. Uh, um, Strauss. Schumann by Strauss. So you you rated Miri stream? Yes. So you know her raid song? Yes. Now I know. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. So now this first, this is initial layer, guys. This is just blocking. I need the form. I need the planes. I don't care about colors now. It is why, it is why you see it quite patchy, but I need them planes to be established. Uh, Miri, your raid song is the raid song of all raid songs. Let me know if you want to play, Yoshi. Anytime, if you feel like. Off. Thank you so much, Mary. Like, Thank you. I like to play uh, all the time. <laughs> so yeah, it's just just. Should, would, would you like to do it? Yes, of course. What? <clears throat> I have. Ah, yes, I see. I have so many music players now. Okay. Why? I
<laughs> Mr. Nelson is in fact. Thank you so much, Yoshi. This was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, now we have more proper, proper emotes. Yeah, guys, just feel free, feel free to, to do it. Oh, Captain Trüffelrüssler. Yeah, Mädchen Dattbach is correct. Oh, you are from Mönchengladbach. First one from Mönchengladbach I meet on stream. <laughs> yeah, the planet is rather small. Yeah. Yeah, I still remember how I met in Sydney many, many years ago. I met just on the street People from my hometown, sailors, they, they've been sailing around the world. So they were, they just uh, was, they, they, they were mooring in Sydney Harbor and they were looking for something. And they asked me and we started to, to talk with each other and it turned out that they know my father. They, they knew me for when I was a boy because I've been, wow. we've been in, in yacht club all together. And it was uh, yeah, such a fantastic, like, 10,000 miles from home or something. Yeah, the world is very surprising. Okay, it's getting... So you see, uh, more we do, less I need you to return to the same position because I already have main things established. So now we work with the glasses and with the eyes. Shall I uh, leave the glasses on or shall I uh, yeah, yeah. As, put as down the glasses for a minute? No, no, no. If, if, if they are part of your personality, do not... Do not uh, oh, they do are. Not, okay, so do not, do not change anything. I am capable of... Oh, someone asked before if, uh, if my family is watching uh, my streams. Uh, my mother just joined. Hmm. Fantastic. Hi, Sigrid. Th thank you so much for joining. It, it, is, it is an honor for me. And another, another uh, funny fact about this is she's living on the Canary Islands, on Ooh, the island of La Palma. So, so she's, she's in Spain as well. Yes, technically, yes. This <laughs> 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 is so funny. So, Mr. Els, how long did you keep the illusion you're, you're still in high school? So, what happened before going to college? So, until your late 20s. So Arthur, how, how did you get to Barcelona? I, I just, um, you see, we, 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 we've been living in Asia for many years after Russia. 
So we've been, we've been in Thailand. Uh, at a certain moment, we've decided to get back and move to Europe. So my wife's parents, they just uh, have uh, property here uh, in Catalonia. So we came for just to, to, to visit them. And I like it here and we decided to move, so we just moved. Very, you know, uh -huh. very boring story, nothing, nothing. Oh, it's, it's a wonderful story because uh, having the possibility to stay where you feel comfortable, that's a fantastic thing. Yes, and it's, uh, it's not easy, to be honest, it's not easy, especially now. But Yes, of course. Uh, for me, it was also, you see, uh, when I came to Barcelona the first time, we went to the Museum of Modern European Art, which is now like five minutes away from my home. Uh, and I've seen the paintings by living artists, by my peers now. So we, we consider oh. ourselves peers. And I thought, wow, this is a really good museum. This is a really good city. I want to live here and I want my painting to be on the wall of this museum. So it was like, you know, a little bit like a challenge for me as well. And it took maybe one year to, to see my painting on the wall of this museum. Wow. So, yes, and now I'm here. I like it. It is one of the best cities in the world, I believe. Very, I've very never nice. been to Barcelona yet, but everyone who uh, visited Barcelona, everyone told me it's, uh, it's a fantastic city and you're just blown away with every centimeter you move through the city because yes. you are just, uh, you're yes. buried under history yes. in this city. Because on every corner, on every, on every meter you, you walk, you have so many uh, historical things going on. Which is gracias again. Bella, no, no, my mother's from uh, from Germany. And Barcelona is not exactly, it is not very Spanish. I would say it is more like uh, European in general. Uh, it seems like they, they've been inspired by Paris when they were building this uh, yes. uh, this Art, Art Nouveau part of the, build, uh, of, of, of the city. And we live now in, in, in this place. So Palau, Palau de Musica is just a three minutes walk from, from our place. So maybe, maybe the relationship between um, Barcelona and, and Spain is like Russia and St. Petersburg. Yes, uh, more or less, but even more probably complicated because... Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Sunny. Hi, Raiders. Welcome. Hey, Sunny. Welcome. Welcome. And uh, congratulations, you actually uh, really maintained your stream. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sunny. How was your stream? What, what did you stream today? Tell us everything. <laughs> so nice to see you. We, we were talking about you. Oh, you, you, you were pushing buttons? <laughs> no, Twitchy. Hi, Twitchy. Nice to see you. Ah, Twitchy. Hey, long time no see. Yes. We thought you will never come. Oh, sorry, Sunny. <laughs> Sometimes I, could, I, I just couldn't stop myself from telling one bad joke after the other. MRX? Yeah, I stumbled into this stream by accident and uh, then he just told me, uh, stay where you are, I'm going to paint this. Yes, I'm painting on copper. It's so funny, so, so many music streamers are visiting me. I never thought about it. 
that's actually one of the fantastic things of the uh, communi uh, community in music and uh, performing arts on Twitch. It's like a big family. Everyone yes. knows each other, yes. and the family just grows, and you meet people on, uh, on certain streams. Okay, now the eye. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Your show. Oh, Twitchy, Twitchy, that was a good guess. Yeah, it was a good guess. Okay, Yoshi, tell us, what, what else do you, which, which instrument you play? Beside, uh, beside her, what else? Um, first instrument was piano, but mm -hmm. I uh, I stopped taking lessons at the age of um, I think eleven, okay. because uh, taking lessons for two instruments at a, at a higher level was was too much for uh, for being just just a child. Um, but I always kept playing piano just for fun. Um, what else instruments do I play? Um, Bowron. The Irish frame drum, that's a mm. part of the um, of my finding my way into Irish trap music. And on that way, I also um, tried a bit of tin whistle and Irish flute and low whistle to uh, get an idea how ornamentation works in Irish trad. Mm, okay. And a few, few years ago, I started uh, kind of uh, learning, playing, playing around with electric guitar. So mm -hmm. that's uh, the latest edition. Will you stream ever electric guitar? Maybe I will do some experimenting uh, learning streams with guitar once I, uh, I find a teacher, because I definitely plan to take lessons. But at the moment, it's not uh, possible, of course, to take um, lessons in presence. And I do not want to start with uh, video lessons mm, I, okay uh, i definitely i definitely want to take my first lessons with a new teacher in person so i uh, i will just wait until it's uh, possible again and then i definitely uh, want to take lessons with guitar and then i from time to time definitely will do some practice streams uh, showing how how funny it is for a uh, semi-professional musician or way uh, professional musician to struggle playing a new instrument Yes, can you imagine? Actually, uh, I, I enjoy that. I enjoy being a beginner again and uh, having the, the pleasure of learning something new because that's uh, a fantastic experience, always. But why don't you want to take online lessons? Not, not because so taking, taking lessons uh, in music is a very personal thing for me. It, uh, it all comes down to the relationship between the teacher and the student, for me. Maybe that, that's a bit of an um, extreme Asian way, because, uh, but um, what I look for is a teacher uh, whom I trust 100% and mm, uh, to okay. whom I can yes. identify 100%. Yes. So, yeah. yeah, it's, it's more, more traditional Eastern approach. There is a famous proverb like uh, from the East, when student is ready, teacher will appear. Yeah, very true. Arakia, it depends. Some pieces are easy to play on the harp. It's, um, you, you can't compare to piano. Some pieces are easy to play. You just see the sheet music or you listen to something and you can play right away. For some other pieces, you definitely have to practice because there are technical challenges or um, you have to find your connection to the music you play. Uh, both can take um, some time practicing.
actually the technical part of uh, learning a piece is uh, usually is the fast uh, thing happening, the first thing happening. The music the musical approach takes a bit longer usually. And the perfect example is there are many technically uh, outstanding musicians. When they play, you are impressed by the uh, level of technical abilities. You are blown away by uh, all that uh, fancy technical stuff. They, they just fire out of their instrument. But they actually do not touch your heart. And that is um, where you should go further. Playing less notes and playing more music for the heart. Yeah, music for the heart, I like it. Twitchy, yes, perfectly correct. You always have to, um, you have to take the limits of your instrument into account. Whether it is the levers on the, uh, on the lever harp on this one, or the pedals on the big harp, or um, interval size on the piano, for example. I mean, Rachmaninoff just didn't care. Yeah, he, he was a brilliant pianist player. Lively Linia, hey, good night. Happy yes, New Year. Good night, thank you so much for, for coming. Rachmaninoff is a uh, fantastic music. Yes, yes. For me... I practiced... Yes. Uh, just just uh, to, to have some fun, I practiced the beginning of his uh, second piano concerto mm -hmm. because I was curious if it's possible to play the chords without uh, doing a slight arpeggio because okay. um, the, the, the chords are really big. They are, the, those are large mm -hmm. chords. From the first and moment, right? Yes, exactly, the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I remember um, stumbling across uh, a recording with Van Cliburn. Mm, uh, yes, yes, very famous. He, I mean, he, I mean, famous. he was—he uh, was—he was two meters tall, a really tall yes, guy yes, with yes. big hands, and of course he played uh, the chords um, plucky, so he didn't do any arpeggio. Uh, that was uh, the orientation. It was like, uh, wow, that's possibly the way it's meant to be played. And then I—I uh, I was just curious. If my hands are big enough to, to do those chords without a pedio, and then I, and I started practicing just just for fun, so it's uh, just just the first page of that concerto. Yes, Sunny, enjoy your food. Thank you, thank you for the aid. And your Sunny, we have, we enjoy. Have a question from English sandwich. And yes, we crush. I do. I enjoy. It. Please, please give uh, permit to do to Doug, please, to, for posting the link. So, Yoshi, there is a question about English English uh, language. Oh, for for my side, I um, I learned English in school, but I didn't learn to talk and to communicate in English, to interact in English. That happened during study in Salzburg because uh, we lived in a flat, and one. Um, one of the, uh, our flatmates, she was a singer. She went to California, to San Francisco, to spend half a year over there. And there she met her, uh, her husband. And they came back together to Austria. And uh, he, he, he was a fantastic guy, a funny guy. Tenor, also a singer. Mm. And he told us, oh, well, you, you have to help me to learn German. You have to talk German to me. And in the end, uh, we, we found ourselves uh, speaking English all the time. And that was the time I learned how to actually speak and communicate in English. And the, the one thing he told me was never try to find a certain word. Just don't stop talking. Start <laughs> describing what you are searching for, but just don't stop talking because you're missing one word. And that is uh, the most important lesson I ever got for any language. Yeah, and also in formal, informal circumstances, they can help. Like when you meet people in the bar or somewhere else, gathering. So, Van, Van Kliber, 
he was very popular in Soviet Union. Do you know it? He won. Yes, he he was he uh, he won the first Tchaikovsky yes, uh, um, yes. competition in Russia du during the Cold War. Yes, in six. It was it was uh, revolutionary. Yes. He's he's from Texas actually, and mm -hmm. uh, a, a, a Texan pian a, a pianist yeah. winning a competition in Moscow. It was uh, people were uh, were thrilled. Yeah, uh, for for me, his uh, first concerto by Tchaikovsky, one of the best performances of. Definitely, definitely. He did a recording with uh, Kirill Kondrashin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you know the story how Glenn Gould came to Soviet Union? Like nobody. I I don't remember. I I read his uh, his biography, but mm -hmm. uh, but I don't remember. Like no, nobody knew about him, and he were. He was performing in Tchaikovsky Hall, in the Philharmonic Hall in Moscow. And he been playing Goldbergs, of course, in his, in his oh, goal. Oh, yes. So, and, and he started the, in, in the first half, there was not so many people because no, nobody knew him. But, but when he started to play, people started to escape to reach the phone, it was the time when the phones were only on the street, to call their relatives and friends to come to listen to that guy because his Goldbergs, they are like mind-blowing. Even now, even now, I think it's uh, yep. the, best, the best and the most freaky, freaky version of Bach, Goldberg. So both, by, both versions. Yes, and by, by the end of performance, the hall was totally full. People were standing yep. and, and so on. So yes, very, very famous story of... Glenn Gould traveling to Russia. Yeah, music is music is eternal. Yes, definitely is. Oh, we we crash is uh, yes. The vlog about blues. Oh yeah, the blues struggle. Blues and vibrato, they just don't don't work on the harp. That actually was uh, the time I decided I have to learn some electric guitar. Because I um, I played around with uh, amplification and effects, plucked into this harp and plucked uh, into the big harp, and everything just failed because I wanted to sound like an electric guitar. That was something I um, I realized later. Um, exactly at that time, I uh, I hooked up an electric guitar to my rig, and then played basic single notes, some basic chords, and it just sounded so much better than on the harp because that actually was what I've got in my ear. So I decided not to, uh, to do more punishment to the, to the instrument and uh, leave that music to electric guitar and actually learn how to play it on the electric guitar. <laughs> nice. But have you, have you did, did you drink it, Yoshi? Already? No, not yet. Not uh, yet? Yes I yesterday. Yesterday. Ah, okay, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, feel free if, if, if you like to. And also if you want to perform more music also. Yeah, I happily do. Actually, it, uh, Bushmills is, is correct, but it is, um, it is from the Steamship collection. Maybe, maybe you can see this one. The label is a bit different from what you usually see. The usual label is uh, more black and white. This is like a uh, vintage paper, the label, and uh, the markings are slightly different. <laughs> will, it, will it chug? <laughs> Biggest question when it comes to electric guitar and amps, will it chuck? 
Oh, Twitchy, if you are more like uh, like a cognac person, you definitely should try Irish whiskey because it's uh, triple distilled. That means it is uh, much more mellow than, uh, than for example, the Scottish uh, single malt whiskies. They all have that, um, that smoky flavor. And that is because the grain is roasted directly over the fire. And in Ireland, they put, they put the grain on, um, um, on a plate, on a metal plate. So the, the smoke doesn't touch it. And that creates a much more mellow, much, much more round flavor. Armagnac is, is, oh, it's, it's fantastic. Um, Bellanor, Irish whiskey is not as sweet as cognac. You still can tell uh, it is whiskey, but it, it's much more mellow than, uh, for example, any scotch. So if, if you're a cognac person, usually I'd try Definitely the, uh, the Bushmills you can get at the store. Or um, Jamison Whiskey, at least 12 years aged. Those two are uh, the more mellow whiskies. I don't drink anymore, but I still remember how good it was. For me, single malt was the best Scottish. Oh, it depends. There are there are fantastic blended malts, mm -hmm. but um, uh, usually you um, you associate a blended malt being cheap whiskey, and unfortunately, uh, most of most of the time that's true because at the supermarket you mostly get cheap blended whiskey. And um, that doesn't really reflect the quality of a good blend. Thank you. For Doc. example, one, one, of, one, of, one of the best blends I, I got is this one. It's a, it's, it's a Japanese. Mm. Here we go. Hibiki. It's a, yeah. That's a fantastic one. We're going to be drunk. We're going to be drunk. <laughs> and drink, drink, uh, sing Russian songs. Sometimes, sometimes I listen to this uh, Titanic, Titanic drunken song from Russian people. <laughs> have, have you heard? Uh, <laughs> so funny, very legendary. Uh, wait. Yeah, Japanese whiskey is very good. <laughs> Probably the, the 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 best known Russian song in the world. Yeah, one of the. And nobody knows it's a, it's it's a Russian traditional. Yes. <laughs> Because everyone uh, listening to that is uh, is like, oh, you can play Tetris. <laughs> yeah, so Tetris soundtrack. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Bellano, it's uh, it's Japanese grain. It's all Japanese. As far as I know. Um, English sandwich, I did some Japanese traditional archery a few months. Um, the motion is completely different. Because when uh, in archery, you actually, you, you hook your fingers around the string. And with harp, you just have your fingertip on the string. That's one of the 
minor differences. But what you can do is you can take a piece of paper, fold it until it's um, about this length and this width approximately. Then you can put it around the string, pull it and kind of shoot into that direction with the harp. Well, when I've seen your stream for first time, I was thinking about how do you... So let's say if you buy the harp, how you bring it to your home? Because is it, is um, it uh, by car? By car, and is it just disassembled and you have to assemble it? Or it just comes no, through? No, 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 no. Um, so you, you, uh, you, you just lay it horizontally and put okay. it into, into the car. Okay, so you don't have to build the building around the surround, surrounding it? No, uh, no, no, no. Okay, good. Because yeah, you never know. Only the IKEA hubs, yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> How, how heavy? Okay, the green harp I can somehow fathom, but the big one, is it heavy? The big one is about, uh, I think it's 35 kilograms. Oh, it's not so heavy, so you can... Yeah, it's, it's not that bad. It's, uh, it's a modern construction, a modernized mm. construction. Mm. The, um, the column in front, it's made from carbon fiber. Okay. And in okay, traditional yeah. wow, traditional harp, harp builders, they they make the column from uh, almost massive wood. Mm. And, uh, they they also use more material in the overall construction, and that adds up to approximately ten kilograms more in total weight. Yes. So you have yeah. a kind of forty five kilograms. And carrying a forty five kilogram harp up and down the stairs, that's really cumbersome. I can imagine. Twitchy. Um, new strings usually uh, it depends on the it depends on the string material. The natural gut strings on my big harp, on the concert harp, they usually take one week, one and a half week until they are settled. Nylon strings, they take much longer because they, uh, they are more flexible. They, uh, they extend much more than a natu natural gut string, so they take more time to settle. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I leave you with Yosha. I need to, to bring some coffee. I will be back in a couple of minutes. So... I leave you. I leave you for now. Just chat, okay? Okay. And yes, feel free to relax. Uh, now it's very relaxing. Oh if yeah! Oh yeah! I can breathe now. Yes, you can. You can. <laughs> oh, so strange! It, it looks very. Mm, it looks very copper. You see, it's, it looks very reddish, very orangey, on camera. But uh, here, is more or less. Yeah, I like it. I have a cat hair. Yeah, it's, it's quite interesting surface to paint on. Okay, I, I will bring yeah. coffee. It's lovely. Artistic. Um, Hurdy Gurdy. I love Hurdy Gurdy. It's fantastic. My favorite dish is, uh, of course, it's sushi.
you so much. It's so incredible. Absolutely incredible. Where, where are your emotes, guys? Chat is very silent. Spam them. A little dance. Maybe, maybe later, yes. <laughs> Applause. Bravo, bravo. Oops, sorry. Thank you. You know, when, when you go and listen to classical music, there are always people who probably first time on the performance, maybe second time. And they tend to, you know, to clap between the movements or they don't wait properly for the end of the performance, you know, sometimes because of the pause and, and so on. And you, we know, we know it. It's like this uh, famous Nokia song, and all, uh, the, the Nokia ringtone and, and so on. Here in Barcelona, you can hear such such nonsense very often, you know, like awkward awkward moments, which is good. Means new people are coming to listen to the music, to to meet yeah. to meet the classical music. But I remember when it was Bruckner's eight uh, number eight symphony number eight. Do you remember it? Like ninety minutes nonstop, no break, no intermission, just nonstop yeah. symphony. And it was the best. It was the best public I ever seen. No one coughed. No one sneezed, no one just, no clap in between, just like, you know, like robots. It was, I still remember, I still remember this performance because yeah. of, because I can, of the I can public. imagine. And I, I know Japanese people, they, 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 they are really disciplined. They, they sit like very straight and... I have, I have, I have a really funny story about that. My father played uh, with, uh, with uh, chamber, he played chamber music on tour. Mm -hmm. uh, in Japan, and his colleague, the flute player, um, it was 8 p.m. where the concert should start. And his colleague was um, at the curtain, and he was like, wait, are there people outside? I don't hear anything. <laughs> and he, 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 just, he just took a glance through the curtain, and he was like, well, uh, the hall is full. They are just absolutely quiet because it's 8 p.m. Yes. This is quite unusual. Yes. In Japan, it's it's usual. Yeah, I, I would really love to listen to to Masaki Suzuki, for example. Mm -hmm. Bach, Bach chorals. Uh, Bellana, usually they, they do. I mean, on, on, the, on the train platforms, you have markings where to wait for a certain door. Yes, yes, for the certain class. Yeah. I remember my first, uh, I, I didn't know about it, so in Narita Airport, you know, the, the train to, 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 to the city, and I just arrived. I bought the ticket and I see like many people gathered in one part of the platform, but other part was relatively empty. And you know, the Russian experience, like you always go where less people to, to be able to, to sit first. So I just, I just went and I, and I sat and it was really nice. Uh, it, was, it was really nice train, you know, like very stretched, like uh, very posh, uh, chairs, uh, a table and so on. Only later, almost almost in the end of the journey, uh, conductor guy, guy who were checking the tickets came and explained us that we should go to the, to the second class or something. <laughs> it was very awkward, very awkward. Still remember this. In many, many years past, I still remember. Crazy Russian in, in Tokyo. When you hear modern music like pop, what do you think? Does it sound like music from hell? <laughs> Such a question. For you? <laughs> For you? Uh, Lubin art depends. Uh, I mean, uh, ACDC has song titles. Uh, they are directly connected to that theme. Yeah, and just don't forget that many, many classical things were pop music back then. Or, oh, or yes, very they were. special, yes. Like t tough music. Sorry. Even even Bach was even uh, Bach. revolutionary. 
he always broke composition rules back in the days. But no one could uh, could really uh, say anything against it because of his mastery. <laughs> Better not exactly. And if you mess up that converter, you go to hell. <laughs> Actually, uh, Lubin Art, um, that's, <laughs> that's really I, have, I have to explain, I, I definitely have to explain. Um, modern music like pop, the first thing coming to my mind when um, being asked about modern music like pop music is pop music from the 80s and 90s or even earlier, 70s. So um, things coming to my mind is Pink Floyd, Dire Straits, things I listen to, U2, um, Michael Jackson, these things. And uh, I really like it. I, I still listen to that music. Um, or ACDC, Iron Maiden, of course I listen to that. And I enjoy listening to that because it's, um, it's good music. It, it works. People like that music. People listen to that music and they have, they have a good time while listening to that music. And that's uh, one of the most important things you can get from music, from listening to music. Oh, Money for Nothing is fantastic. Dire Straits. Yeah. Yeah, but Bach was pop, pop music, why not? Quite church music and all chorals and, and Mozart as well. So many, yeah. And many other Baroque, Baroque musicians. There was even the type of music performed when people, when, when noble people are eating. Tafel music. Yes, background music. Yeah, so people were eating, drinking, whoring and whatnot, and poor musicians, hungry, you know, like performing for them. Yes, now it's different. Oh, Led Zeppelin is fantastic. For Orgis, yes, for Orgis, of course. <laughs> sure, I think all Baroque music is was designed and played for orgies. Such was life back then. Oh, artistic uh, uh, death metal. If if you prefer having a miserable time listening to metal, I think there's something like graveyard metal or or grave metal. I like to think there was. Um, Was it Behemoth? Behemoth. That was quite on the dark side. And Burzum? Burzum, yes. I remember. Yeah. I remember them. Ah, uh, Cannibal Corpse, yeah. Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> When they came to Moscow for the first time, they went to Mausoleum because you see, it's so funny that the whole country is worshiping that body, which is exposed yeah. to everyone. So, <laughs> okay, maybe now. Actually, the, the first album I bought from my pocket money as a child, I think it was 13 years old, something, something like, like that, was uh, Killers by Iron Maiden. Mm. And that actually was was one of my uh, my best concert experiences. I uh, I visited a concert in Berlin a few years ago, listening to Iron Maiden. They did the um, the England tour, I guess it was, it was called the uh, the England tour. What they did was they played the Seventh Son on tour, 
uh, that was a dream coming coming uh, true. Listening to uh, Seventh Son live, that that was uh, goosebumps. Was fantastic. Oh, Seventh Son, first album, wow. It was ama an amazing show. And they, they played the whole album. It was really, it, 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 was, it was a dream coming true. <laughs> Artistic, yeah, the artwork was fantastic. Yes. By uh, I think Martin Birch, and uh, I spend hours listening to um, to um, audio books on the radio back in the days and uh, copying the artwork from the albums. And of course, LPs, black discs. It was mostly vinyl back, back in the day, right? Yes, vinyl. <laughs> so, so many heavy, heavy, heavy metal fans here. Okay, Yoshi, the best uh, movie about musicians. Which which one is your favorite? Best movie about musicians. Or about music in general. Because there are many. Okay, the first one is uh, kind of a cheat. It is the video documentation of the uh, Goldberg uh, variations recording done by Glenn Gould. Oh, yes, it's, good, uh, good it's, it's done by a so Sony, Sony Classical, I think. Yes, yes, yes. It's a fantastic documentation, but mm -hmm. that's uh, not really a movie about music or on music. Another fantastic movie, a documentation about music, is Flight 666. It's uh, the Iron Maiden tour where mm -hmm. they, uh, mm -hmm. they have the... Um, the jet, the uh, I think I think they yes. have, they got a seven seven five seven yeah, for their huge, world tour. Huge one. Yeah, no, not not uh, not the second one, not not the uh, not the soul tour. It was the one before. Actually, um, although being historically incredibly incorrect, I love the Amadeus movie. Yes. It's amazing. Do you remember that part when his uh, mother-in-law was screaming, yelling at him, and he he is just absolutely spaced out, watch, watching her screaming, yelling. Uh, 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 yes, <laughs> yes. The Queen and, of and, the and Night, it, and, it, is... and it seamlessly, seamlessly yes. trans <laughs> it, uh, transitions into an aria. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yes, a it's wonderful the, moment. To the Queen of the Night, yes. Hilarious. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Oh, Rammstein is a legend, of course. Well, the reflections of from sunglasses from the glasses they are so posh. Very beautiful. Ah, oh, cheers. Cheers guys, happy Sunday and yeah. Skol. Kanpai. Oh yeah. Fort 45 here as well. Nastarovie. Nastarovie, yeah. In German? In German how how what do you what do you say in German? You say Prost or Prost. you say zum Wohl? Zum Wohl. Sounds like invasion. 
As it always a, sounds sounds yeah. sounds like planning to invade another country. <laughs> Actually, you, you can you can read a, a love poem to uh, to to a foreigner, and they are afraid of you because they yeah, and they will uh, they, show they you the passport and all documents. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Put the, put they, the oh no, 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 no! Please, 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 please do please do not rape our country. <laughs> Okay, this suit, this suit, such beautiful colors. Okay, we need to mix this green, the green of the jacket first, of the west, of the west. Artistic, not, not, uh, not in particular German. There are certain accents you don't want to hear in the bedroom. <laughs> You see, guys, so far, no drop, no stain, nothing. Wow. Yeah. Is it uh, is it removable, removable from cloth? Yes, yes, quite quite removable. Ah. Especially right especially if if you do it uh, right away. Ah, okay, that's good. I ha I have the. Mm, the habit to wear all blacks uh, sin since I was drawing with charcoal and charcoal is quite dirty thing because your fingers oh yes and yeah you know, like you you can so better better to wear to, to wear just all black and yeah it, it saves the problem so your pocket square is uh, is just the indicator when to change your suit Yes. Once, yes it's, exactly. one, once it's invisible, it's all black, and that yes. means it's full of charcoal. Yeah, it's time, it's time to change it. <laughs> time to change it. <laughs> you know, like uh, on, on diapers, or on pampers, they, they also have this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I know, now I know, you know. <laughs> Quite experienced already. The green should be warmer, so I'll we'll take this raw amber now. Oh, artistic, that's so mean. Wow, that's evil. <laughs> yeah, by, by the way, artistic, sorry, sorry for, my, for, for really uh, destroying your name. I was pronouncing it absolutely differently the last time. It was yesterday, probably, or a few days ago. Because in Russia we can read the number four as ch, so it's uh, it's why ah, I told you ch okay. ch 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 ch. Because he, he was talking very Russian things like gopnik and other things. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I remember. I think four is chtiri, right? Yes, four four is chtiri. Yes. So ah, yeah. It's very often very often people replace replace it just to 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 make it more funny. Only later I realized it was artistic, which makes a lot of sense. Wow, I, 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 forgot, I forgot everything. I, I took Russian lessons in school for, uh, I think, one year or one and a half year. Uh, and, uh, and I uh, only remember how to count from one to four, and that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I as should... Long... Yes, please. As long as it's not a German <laughs> <laughs> artistic. <laughs> Big trauma. So now the suit. Oh yeah, Bellanoa. So so true. So true, yes. And by the way, Ger German is most poetic language because so many so so many poems are written on German. 
And it they is. are so lyrical. Uh, German is a very uh, versatile language. You have so many, so many words. So it's such a big vocabulary. Mm. It's not, yeah. it's not as big as English, of course, but uh, still, it is a very descriptive, uh, descriptive and very uh, precise language. Yes, indeed. Like Schubert songs, he, he wrote six hundred or something. Oh yes. So he he was just taking the books from the shelves, opening them and song right away. So he, he wrote 600 songs in one year or two years, something like that, or 800. I don't remember, many, many. Banyolf, yes. Endless possibilities, but uh, for a foreigner, it all sounds uh, very rude. We have quite plenty of German people. Oh yeah, I, I just I just saw. Oh my gosh, Bellona! Oh wow, that that's that's uh, that's a bad surprise. Spent years learning German and then landing in Swiss Switzerland. Mm. Wow. But being a native uh, German speaker, uh, I, I got that lost in translation moments in, in Austria as well. Oh, you are from Swiss. From which part? I miss Switzerland. Oh, was that, we've, oh. Been, we've been there recently. Not recently, like already two years ago. Quite close from from the, from Barcelona. One day driving. How do you feel? Are you tired? No, feeling, okay? feeling all right. Uh, yeah. So you see, it's like uh, three, almost three hours of stream means like two and a half hours of painting. And we, we somehow getting closer to the finishing of the first stage, the stage which requires your sitting. So we're doing- It's very nice. We're doing pretty. Pretty good, I believe. Such a pleasure. I never thought that I will bring this activity online because it's it's what I normally do. Just chat with people, do their portraits, listening to music, cracking jokes. Yes. So I'm, I'm very grateful for that to Twitch and all this 2020. Yeah, streaming, streaming is fantastic. Yeah, surprisingly. If you, if you like uh, people, if you, if you like interacting with people, streaming is absolutely fantastic. Jessica is... <laughs> is Making apologies for the compliment. Thank you so much. You don't have to to sorry. Have many accents in Russia or in Germany. A plus content. Yeah, baby. Yes. I hope. I hope. I hope it is not uh, super slow. But it's quite organic now. How it is developing. No, it's it's super slow and outdated, and we are proud of it. 
É, sem dinheiro. <risos> yes, by the way, by the way, Blomath, we have new subscriber. Thank you so much for the Hey, Blomath. Happy to see you. Welcome to this family. Yeah, the only thing which is bothering me now is that we cannot listen to every music. You know, we are not safe if we listen. Because before... Yeah, that's true. I used to just to listen to classical, to, to Rachmaninoff. It's nice to talk about music and to listen immediately to it. What I started doing uh, for the past three streams is I disabled all the vaults mm -hmm. and I keep I keep the recording of my stream and I upload yes. it to YouTube yes. about half half a week later. Mm -hmm. And I uh, I also um, edit the description to have uh, to have the timestamps mm -hmm. where I play which piece. So um, and and also the 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 timestamps for the raids. Okay. That that's that that's quite nice. Yeah, what and, I do. Uh, and yes, please. Therefore, I'm. I'm. Uh, therefore, I can play whatever I want without without uh, being, um, uh, without without receiving any strikes because of uh, DMCA stuff. Yeah, because it is your performance. Right. Yeah, this is the biggest problem with the classical music because it is in open domain, but performance is cop copyrighted. So let's say. I listen to Karayan and I get I've, I've got yes. strike from yes, of course. Deutsch Gramophon yeah. and so on, which is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. But rules are rules. Hey, Machiavelli. Actually, I planned doing this for uh, for a longer for a longer time, and uh, during that time, I just didn't play anything uh, not being public domain on Twitch. Mm -hmm. I did as uh, I think two or three three, uh, three streams on YouTube, playing uh, also modern modern music, uh, copyright music. Um, I missed doing that on Twitch because uh, the community is is over here. It's on Twitch. But um, just just uploading the uh, the recordings of the videos to YouTube is so far it seems to work perfectly. Do you like rap? Yeah, good question, by the way. Oh, me? I, I listen to uh, Ice Cube quite a lot. And also Public Enemy, back in the days. Uh, Run DMC. So uh, more, more the old school stuff. Time to invest in gramophone. I have recordings before 67, but they sound not, sometimes they can sound quite harsh. Yeah, they do. So you should be prepared for, for that. There are, there are, of course, really good ones like Glenn Gould. But if, even Glenn Gould, Goldberg, you will hear how he's humming constantly, singing to himself. That. That was a big problem during yes, recordings. Yes. Can you imagine the frustration? Got. Oh, Opgard Old But Gold. Uh, actually, Wu Tang Clan I'd consider to be the first new school thing. So I um, I more like uh, grew up with the dinosaurs of rap. 
<laughs> so funny having that open loop. Oh, yeah. It was so funny to, uh, yeah, one side is funny and one other side it was uh, really yeah. annoying to, uh, to yeah. learn Herman Lee got banned because he played uh, Dragon Force on stream. Such a, such a stupidity. Yeah, I remember Aaron Blaze, the animator, he got a strike on YouTube by showing his own Disney cartoons, you know, like parts, parts of them. Wow. And he was explaining what he did, you know, like how, yeah. how, he, how he did the animation and he was just like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hilarious. Yoshi, can I ask you? To remove the uh, yeah the earbud, yes. Do you have an in opposite in opposite uh, ear? Yeah, I have. Okay, just yeah. for a couple of minutes. If you feel like playing more, uh, I would be happy to hear, and I'm sure chat as well. So chat, what do you think? And what do you think you are which is more important? Would you like to play or it's enough? Oh, I always like to play. Good, such a speed. Is it okay if I'm asking? Yes, of course. Because um, you you are the one uh, being being dependent on what I actually do on on the screen to be able to paint. So, <laughs> yeah, but um, you, you see you see now now I'm more and more free because I have the structure. I never copy, okay. to be honest. I don't copy. I I try to create my own version of the sitter. Okay. It's like singing the song. Not not accounting.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bravo. It was amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. We, we, ha we have absolutely fantastic Sunday stream, guys. This is stream to remember, top notch. Thank you so much. Yeah, by, by the way, Thank chat, you. by the way, chat, we one sub away from 13th slot. So if we want to have one Gox emote for everyone, you know what to do. Just one sub, one sub. 13th slot, sloth. Okay, we continue. Are, are you comfortable, Yosha? Is it? Yes, I am. Good, 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 good. Thank you, Racing. Thank you so much. Wow. I said one, not five. It's five <laughs> is too much. Wow, amazing. <laughs> huge, huge amount. Wow. Uh, one. Just one. It's like, you know, like, like in my pockets now, all these subs like just dropping, dropping down. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, it, well, it's uh, just, just, just one hype train. <laughs> just one hype train. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you guys. So we, now uh, I will, I will upload, I will upload this one gog emote into tier one. <laughs> stop, stop. Such a big amount, enough. Okay, so what do we have? What do we have? Let's let's discuss. We have we have the form of the head. We have uh, the indication of the glasses. Mm, can you mm, can you lift your head slightly up, your shirt? Oh yes, I, I see. I see the, the angle. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, 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 like, like that. Just, just, uh, just for let, me to. Let me see. It's I okay. Think. It's okay. You see, uh, I, I don't need to. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like, like, like this, just to see how the design of the of the glasses. How does it work? Okay. Yeah, we can we can relax. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. For so many, okay, I, I should I should thank all of, all of you. Oh, where, where is my? Where is my? Thank you, Andromeda, for gifting three subs. Thanks, Balder, for gifting one sub and two subs before that. Artistic, thank you for gifting sub. Wake Rush, thanks, Andromeda, thanks again for two subs and Racing, thanks for five subs. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Now I fall from tw from 200, yes, but uh, more, the channel points, uh, more, more channel points. So I hope we will. Mr. Gellit, thank you so much for returning to into the family. Welcome back. So Yoshi, how do you feel? Are you, are you comfortable enough? Can, can I'm we do? Thank you. Can, can we do? Let's say maybe half an hour more. Yes, of Be, course. No before, problem. Before we call today. I'm just amazed by watching the pro uh, the progress. It's <laughs> uh, it's really fascinating. Yeah, but. It, it will it will be even more detailed and precise later because obviously I don't want to to paint just one one sitting on copper it it, it, it deserves it deserves like special treatment yeah I know you never left I, I was just joking Jason You are the first, one of the first. Yes, so strange. We, we met each other in here on Twitch. I still remember my first stream and my, you know, like first five streams when I was like absolutely. Do you remember your first stream, Yoshi? Oh, yes, I do. Was it awkward? 
Um, a bit, yes, because uh, I was so used to play in front of an audience and I had mm -hmm. to create the yeah. same quality of concentration and the same uh, energy the level same like being on stage in a concert hall without anybody being present, yeah. just the camera. And that was, uh, that really felt strange for the first streams. Not only the first one, but the uh, the first five to ten streams. Mm -hmm. Then I uh, quite. Then I, I I got used to it quite fast. And a big reason is uh, is the the wonderful community on Twitch because they are uh, very positive, yeah, encouraging, supportive. supportive. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Uh, that makes streaming on Twitch being so special in a positive way. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It was the same for me actually. Because I used to I used to do a demos right like this with a real public, but first stream was kind of uh, awkward. But I like. I can imagine. I did such a good painting, by the way, and it was like five or six people, and I thought, "Wow, so strange! I never did demo for such a small audience before." <laughs> there is one request, especially for Arthur on twenty. About one hour in. Okay. Wow, racing! Thank you so much for three three gifted subs. Level four complete. Wow, we we are level four already. Fantastic. Uh, okay, I will I will check it, Twitchy, and I I have I have the recording and I will upload it to YouTube later. This one as well, so I'm going to to keep them forever on my YouTube YouTube channel. Yes. So what about the art? What about art, Yoshi? Which art do you like? Um, I must admit, I I love art, but I don't know mm. pretty much of it. I uh, I've been to many exhibitions and uh, museums together with with my parents, because especially my father always told me it's so important being a musician to have at least a basic idea of the uh, of the uh, of the, um, other disciplines of arts. Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, we visited. Um, Murnau with uh, uh, Der Blaue Reiter, with uh, Gabriele Münten, Franz Marc, Vasily Kandinsky. They, they uh, lived more or less together in one house at Staffelsee and uh, a lot of paintings was created there. And we visited those locations and that was, um, that was one, of the, um, one of the most remember rememberable uh, experiences regarding to uh, arts for me and also we played in museums in Japan because my uh, my uncle he was a uh, director of the Museum of Modern Art in Sapporo at the art park mm, and okay. we played we played several um, we called that moving concerts we had uh, the harp on a on a platform so we could move uh, together with the people through the exhibition and play uh, pieces in front of uh, of the of the paintings and uh, sculptures, the artworks. Yeah, so funny. We used to paint in mo modern art museum here in Barcelona, at the same time when there was a performance of opera arias, you know, like chamber music, jazz. Everything was so nicely fit together. Like people are painting portraits. And musicians are performing on next next floor, just upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I, mi I miss it. I miss it. We don't do it anymore for the series. Poor Zvezdan is not allowed. 
because he wants he wants to destroy things. <laughs> He's in the mood. Well, in fact, I always tell people um, who try to explain to me, well, I, I know nothing about music. I always tell them uh, there's one criteria being valid when listening to music. It is I like it or I don't like it. That's everything yes, that counts. The same for art. And, and, you, and, and, you, and you should be um, self-confident enough to admit, well, I, I can't explain on a technical level but i like it and that's perfectly okay there's there's nothing to argue or to do to discuss about that there, there shouldn't be <laughs> and if you uh, if you can actually explain why you like something then um interesting conversations can take place if you do not try to um to have someone else dislike or like something just because of your argumentation. Yeah, without patronizing. Yeah. Yeah, Twitchy, I know I talk too much. Thank you for hype train, guys. It was fantastic support. <laughs> Twitchy, that, that's that's kind of a of a running gag between Miri and, and me, because she always uh, tells people, "Oh no, I'm I'm entering chatterbox mode," <laughs> and uh, ends up um, talking for a half an hour or uh, forty minutes without playing a single note and I I found myself myself doing the same there was a stream when I started talking about Japanese food for about I think 45 minutes by the way twitch can you can you remind me the request you can you can do it privately if you like so I will find it easily in the recording Yeah, talks are incredible on Yoshi streams. I, I also like them. And they have created this kind of, uh, they are creating this kind of um, balance between music and chat. Well, I, I always try to, um, to interact with the people because uh, that's a very natural way of um, talking oh, to each other. Is, Someone asks a question, so. then you, you answer the question, you ask something yourself. And um, of course, harp is harp is not very common to see it as a solo instrument. So there are there are many questions people have, and that's a big opportunity for me bringing the harp a bit closer to the people, and I like doing that a lot. Oh, Priscilla's song, yes. Sunny, I, I told Arthur to, to request Priscilla's song with the Candele version. I will, I will. I so like this stage, I can, I can do it forever, to be honest. 
just modeling the form modeling the form modeling the form Yeah, cat, cat, probably. Queen in the night, good night. Uh, queen in the north, good night. Good night, Queen. It was a pleasure. Thank you for being here. See you. Yes, the, the, the cat is... He wants to get inside, but he... Better, better for him to stay outside. Ah, the cast shadow on the bridge of the nose. So you wear glasses, right? All the time. Yes. Pardon? You wear the glasses all the time, so... Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is why, you see, it is why I, I told you do not, do not remove them at all. Well, sometimes I uh, I wear contact lenses, mm -hmm. and I also can, if if not streaming, I can play harp without glasses, because I'm mm. short sighted. Okay. And um, I can see everything I need when playing by heart. Also on the big harp, but uh, I I barely can read sheet music without glasses mm. or contact lenses. Yeah, sh sheet music. I, re I remember I was buying the special light for musicians, you know, this uh, small LED lights. Yes. For, for concertos. For, I, for, I, the, for, the, for, the, for the music stands. Yes, for the music stands. I, and I, 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 was, I was using them for my plein air, especially you know, evening time or for, for, portable, for portable easel. Oh, yes. Quite useful, it was quite useful. Okay, time for eye for the eyes. You, you sit actually perfectly, I would say. I must admit, you are very, uh, it's very comfortable to work with you, Oh, happy to hear that. Yeah, I think because you are used to perform. Well, uh, it's, I, I guess it's not only that, it's um, more, from practicing martial arts and doing meditation. Mm, yeah, also. So yeah. it's it's uh, it's easier for me to find uh, comfort in in, um, in almost all positions. Yes. So when you meditate, do you use zafu? Uh, pardon. What, what do you do when meditating? Do you use zafu, the the sitting pillow, for Zen meditation? You know, the small pillow... Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, use, I use pillows. Okay. I used to have... I used to have them. <laughs> oh, 
Well, guys, I, ca I can continue all night, uh, to, to be honest. I just want to, you see, sooner or later we will get back to the real world. And I don't want to lose my ability to paint the, at least the stage in three hours. Because classical, normal, our prim sitting is three hours. But on Twitch, it, it is always longer because we chat. Which I like. <laughs> oh, Andromeda World. Um, if uh, if the G strings don't make it, I will bring the big hub. The G strings are a little are a little longer. Way crush. I actually I have to work, but uh, don't worry. I I seldomly go to sleep before midnight. For me, it's so strange. After stream, I, I cannot go. Oh, I cannot uh, go to sleep for quite a long time. So. Same here. Same here. Mm. It's uh, it's the the quality of concentration you have on stage. Mm -hmm. You have yes. to you have to calm down after that. Yeah. Neurons are quite engaged. Yeah. Today we went to. Miri stream and I just stayed there for quite a long time. Sometimes oh, you yes. you rate you rate someone and you just <laughs> yeah I know start start there. Oh. Pleasure pleasure to chat with you. Heavy metal Finland. See you. Heavy metal. See you. Take care. Good night. Have you been to Finland, Yosha? Not yet. As far as I know, there are some plans going on to uh, to uh, have me in Finland and chain me to something. Ooh, good, good. Whatever. <laughs> Sounds really good. See you, Patrick. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, Sheik 15. It is... Scribble Society, thank you for the host. It's Bushmills from the Steamship Collection. Let's see if I can make this visible. Well, bottle bottle looks like this. I see we have overexposure. Uh. So I think, guys, this stage is more or less finished. So Yoshi, we've done officially. Okay. Thank you so much and congratulations for for such a great skill of modeling. Thank you. So I will. Painting looks looks amazing. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Hope you like it. And guys, you've oh, yes, seen, yes, I do. You've seen how it started. Do you remember how it started? Like a, just like a blob of something. Yes. It was like just almost. It looked absolutely irrelevant in the beginning, but that was the point with the with the copper, with the with the shiny metal surface. So. 
So this yes, as, as you des as you described, uh, uh, putting as much as material as possible on on the surface to uh, to um, handle the reflection. Yeah, and and sculpt sculpt the form. I believe this is a holy grail of realistic painting. Like Michelangelo, he said that the best paintings they remind him of sculptures. And the ah, worst, okay. worst, worst sculptures they remind him, them, him paintings. So they, they look the worst sculptures they look like paintings. Makes a lot of sense. Oh yes. Both faces look pretty great. <laughs> there is a question about Blin Livid. Yeah, sure for you. Question about, let me see. Glenn Livet, the whiskey. Glenn Livet. Yes. Yes, um, not the standard Glenn Livet you, you get at the supermarket, but they have um, older bottles. Um, usually you can say as a rule of thumb, whiskey should have at least 12 years of age. Because if it's earlier, it's um, it, it can be really harsh. Oops. Oh, camera battery. Yeah. Just a second. Yeah, don't worry. I already memorized what I was going to do. Hey, sniper, how are you? Final decisions to make. At this moment, the painting is very fragile because it can be can be erased with just a paper towel. But in a few days, oh, okay. it will dry, and I will continue working on it, like painting smaller details, smaller shapes likeness in general yeah by the way before we finish i want to to do a haircut for you <laughs> well i will take it as a compliment doc Lockdown haircut. By the way, do you do you still have lockdown in Germany? Yes, we do. Mm. Quite quite long already, right? Like few months. Oh yes, it's it's really long. Sniper, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays, but also Fridays sometimes, and even Saturdays. Like yesterday, did I stream? Yes, I think I, st I streamed yesterday. Yeah, you're, you're, Yoshi, you, 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 you came with a rate, I remember now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I, I was doing Freya portrait. Okay, so I think, guys, I could call it a day for now. Hope you liked it. And your oh, I, I certainly did. 
appreciate you. So amazing. Thank you so much for for sitting for me, for being here, and Thank for playing. Thank you for painting. It's uh, that's really an uh, an outstanding, amazing experience. I'm so proud. Would you like to do a final performance before you go? Nobody is nobody, nobody is pushing you away, but I, I I'm just concerned about your. I I your, would your I would have offered story. anyway. Nice, nice. Thank you, doctor. Anyways, uh, I I will I will stay I will stay for a while and stay after after, after finishing. Thank you so much. This is so fantastic. I, ne I never thought that I will hear harp music on my stream. For leave harp music on my stream. Never. This is so amazing experience. Thanks That's a lot. Fun. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. 
So guys, yes, it is it is all for today. At least at least the, the official part is over. Uh, I am going to 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 finish some some things before I let it dry. Oops, what is going on now? Yeah. First I want to remove some yeah, later I will bring some Q-tips and I will remove the exits of of paint from from the copper. So part part of the panel will will sport this mir mirrored copper surface. Thank you, Artist TV. Thank you, Marzipan. Andromeda. Okay, so we will turn the music. Oh, um, Arakia. The strings um, have different colors because of orientation. Um, on the piano, you have black keys, so you feel with your fingers where on the keyboard you are with your fingers. On the harp, you don't have black keys, so every interval, every everything feels the same across the whole instrument. And therefore, you have three colors on the harp. Red strings are C note, black strings are the F note, and the white strings are the strings in between. It's just for orientation. So informative. Probably your your music streams are most educative. One of the most educative streams, at least I've seen. Not just emotions and uh, appreciation of the music itself, but also a ton of information. This is fantastic. Yes, I always okay. think uh, it's. Um, I'm always thinking from from myself, of course, and I always. I'm I'm a I'm a very curious person. Uh, as soon as I as, as I see something unknown, questions arise, and I yeah. always uh, want want to dig deeper and uh, get more understanding what's what's actually happening. And then I, I try to uh, tr explain things from that point of view. And um, the challenge always is find the right words to explain things that are maybe on a technically more complicated uh, level to people seeing a harp for the first time. And that is part of the fun. Thank you, Mr. Gary, for gifting the sub. I really appreciate it. Oh, Bella, no, I didn't try yet. That would be interesting. And Y Crush, perfectly correct, the levers on top of the strings, they can shorten each string by the exact amount of a semitone. So I can increase the pitch of every single string on the lever harp by exactly one semitone. Uh, sniper wiper, no, unfortunately not. Good, good. Okay, so for today, it's done. Mm. I think I will finish it next week when it's dry. Nice. Can you tell us about your schedule, Yoshi? Um, I don't have a schedule at the moment because uh, I started a new job in the beginning mm -hmm. of December. And uh, now I'm entering uh, a stage where things start settling a bit. And then I can decide on at least one day per week having a fixed schedule. Good, good, amazing. A apart from that, I mostly uh, do spontaneous streams, announcing them maybe one or two hours uh, before on Discord. Mm -hmm.
There is a question for you. Oh, Twitchy. Lever hub and pedal hub differ in that regard, semitone. Um, the levers are discs on the pedal hub and they are connected to each other. So you have one pedal for all the C strings to adjust all the C strings at once across the instrument. And you ha don't have only one lever, you have two levers per, per, per string. So you have th three stages in, uh, on the pedal harp for each pedal. That means in the middle you have natural. If you release the pedal to the, uh, to the upmost uh, position, you have flat. And if you push it down to the, to the um, lowest position, you have sharp. So you have three notes per string. Oh, Bellanor, that's a good hint. Thanks a lot. I will. I certainly will do that. Uh, Twitchy, yes. I um, I thought about um, doing something with the lighting for the uh, pe pedal camera, because it's barely visible what I do with the pedals, which is a pity because a lot is happening. <laughs> <laughs> so Jessica, what do you think? Do you, do you like it, the copper? Because it's the first time, first time I stream painting on copper. Okay, enough, enough is enough. I, I must stop now. It's pretty awesome. Thank you guys, thank you. Well, Twitch, not really different. It's like different harps, I suppose. Just uh, a little bit different approach, but the fundamentals are the same and uh, decisions are more or less the same, just the application of the paint, especially in the beginning, and the cho choice of brushes is different. So I didn't use any brushes except sables. So today it's a sable brush day. Okay, I think we should not delay Yosh anymore. If if you if you feel like you but if you are still okay, you can paint a little bit more. <laughs> it's well, up to um, you. I, th I think I think it's getting a bit late now, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. um Yes. I will start packing my things because I have uh, I, I don't leave the microphones over here. Mm. I always I always take them uh, home, and, and that PC? means I need I need somewhat fifteen to twenty minutes okay. getting all my stuff together. So thank you again, thank you again. Thank you. Yeah, it's such a pleasure. So we are we are not saying farewell. We will see each other pretty soon on my stream, we on will. your stream. We will see this painting for sure. I, I will definitely show you guys how I will finish it. And uh, yes, amazing, amazing stream. Thank you. This is just fantastic experience. So yes, thanks. For, for me as well. Thanks a lot for, uh, for having me. Yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. Okay, let's, let's just say goodbye to Yoshi.
Goodbye. Thanks a lot to you all. It was a wonderful evening. Thanks for performing. It was fantastic. Oh, very happy you like it. Okay, so see you. See you and yes, yeah, st stay safe, take care, good night, good luck tomorrow. Thank you, same to you. Yes, bye bye, chat. Bye. Chat, behave, chat. Internet, just say proper goodbye. More, more emotes, chat. Too dry, too dry. It doesn't, doesn't look like proper. <laughs> more emotions. More, yes, like this. Like more, this. More, po more posh emotes. More posh emotes. Bye, bye, Yoshi. Thank you so much. Yes, this looks proper. Yes, yes, guys. This, this is how we do things. This is the way. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, okay, Yoshi. Don't want to hinder you more. So, see you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you. Goodbye. Bye.